Hi guys, and welcome back to another video with the one and only Miss Carrie Blaze and our little mini Pillsbury Should You Make It series. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying them. We are having a lot of fun um, not knowing which one the other one made. This is super fun. Super fun. I'm having so much fun with these and I hope Carrie is too. I know we had a lot of fun on the last one we did. Carrie, those meatball ones you made. Oh my god. I can't. I debated on whether or not to make those for this one, but I figured that would be maybe too soon to make the same one that you made. Since everyone already saw those, uh, I figured I would make these and my husband was super excited. I'm filming! Shut up! Oven's preheated to 350. Step one, done. Boom. So, thank you again, Carrie. Thank you guys for all of your continued love and support. I can't tell you what this means to me that I hit over 400. I mean, holy cow. And I owe this all, like I said before, Carrie started all of this for me in the beginning. She is the one, the only, the OG virtual collaborator who reached out to me after I asked her and I can't thank you enough, Carrie, for doing this for me. And um, thank you guys for coming over, for subscribing, taking a chance on me, um, welcoming me into your community. So thank you, Carrie, and thank all of you and let's head over here. You guys are going to be shocked. You thought the last one was easy? Let's get on over here to this one. Okay, so one thing I did want to say is I wanted to apologize for the audio on the last video. I don't know why it sounded like I was talking inside of a tin can. And it didn't sound like that while I was editing. It only sounded like that after I uploaded the video, so I'm not sure what happened. But I apologize for my So, utensils. It says a medium bowl, but I already have this giant measuring cup out, so I'm just going to use that. Now, you're going to need some Alfredo. One jar of Alfredo sauce. I'm sure it could be any. Um, then you're going to need some bacon, some chicken, and one can of biscuits. And then for your utensils, we're going back to the mini muffin, cupcake tin, however you want to call it. And then I'm just using these Wilton, it says correct cut squares. You don't have to use that. You can use wax paper or parchment. And I'll show you why we're going to use that um, in a minute. But first things first, we're going to come over to our, um, our bowl and pay our attention to our chicken, bacon, and Alfredo all at the same time. Well, honestly guys, you know, my dumbass just realized <laughs> chicken's already in a medium bowl. Duh. So, grab all our Alfredo and our bacon, and then we're gonna mix it into our chicken all together. And that is pretty much the entire second step. Okay, so we got our chicken, Alfredo, and our bacon all mixed. And um, I love these recipes, you guys. When they say get so and so ounce of marinara, so and so ounce of Alfredo, and they do not carry that. Like this says 16 ounce. No, people, you got 15 ounce. So if you come across that, plus my tip for these. I always add some water in here because you know how I hate to waste any kind of ingredient. I always add water in here. Same thing with marinara. I always do that. So add an ounce of water, shake it, you get all of your alfredo out of here, plus you get the 16 goddamn ounces that it calls for. Whatever. Bob's your uncle, Susan's your aunt, bada bing bada boom. And um, one thing that the recipe did not call for, but I added, um, I asked my husband, do you want cheese in here? And he said, sure, because what would make this even better? Cheese, duh. And um, the Alfredo that uh, I had in there is just a, 
a regular Alfredo. It isn't like um, anything special. So I noticed it didn't have pepper, so I added pepper too. So there you go. Minor alterations. Do you? Um, so this is good. I'm going to set this aside. And then we are going to turn our attention to our biscuits. So we will do that. And I'm probably actually going to stick that in the fridge um, while we're doing our biscuit. Okay, so what I was explaining about this thing is the uh, parchment paper cutouts is for each roll um, of biscuit that we have. It says to roll them out uh, to about five inches. And I could, you can absolutely go ahead and just use wax paper or parchment paper, whatever. I just had this and the smaller one happens to be six. So I know that I just have to go an inch smaller of that one. So I'm just gonna pat this out. It says roll it, but just use your fingers and pat it out, that's fine. It works just as good, you know, whatever. So once you have one of them patted out, um, you're gonna grab your muffin cupcake tin that you have greased, as you can see, shiny, shiny. And what I've used is, you guys, check it out. I found my Baker's Joy. Now for anyone that has followed me for a while, you will know that this is my oh, in the kitchen, just as, oh, as my baby spatula. But the reason that I love this better than any other grease spray is because it has um, flour in it and it tends to not give off that, um, I don't know, super oily smell or anything. So that's why I prefer that. And um, so once you get one of these spread out to your five inches, you're gonna take one. That's pretty much an inch within that. You know, we're no freaking Bill Nye the Science Guy here. And I flunked math, so that's good enough for me. You're gonna grab your muffin tin, place it in one of them, and you are going to squish, like okay, that is a word, I promise you this. Press it down firmly in the bottom and up the sides. We're gonna knead it up the sides really good. So squish and squish and squish and swish. Boop, boop, boops to doops. And I'm gonna continue doing that for all eight of them and then we'll come back to the next step. All right, we're back. I just wanted to chit chat <laughs> when I'm doing this because I'm having fun. You know what this is reminding me? Pizza dough. Squash, look at that. It is so relaxing. But I'm sure as you guys have heard and realized that there is kind of something different in my voice, I guess. Um, I did get dentures a while back and the reason why I haven't um, been wearing them is because I have needed some adjustments to them. Okay, so now we have them all done. I'm probably going to do some more squishing and moving up the sides. Um, the reason why I haven't worn them is because um, I have needed uh, a few adjustments and I still need some more and uh, my jaws are still getting used to them and obviously I still need to get used to speaking with them in. Um, I never expect, well obviously I've never had dentures before so I never knew how hard it was and I have been without my teeth for almost two years before getting them so you know, I got so used to not having them and talking without them. You know, I kind of got that accustomed to that. So it's been so weird not having teeth and then now having these. Um, and my jaw bones had so much abnormal overgrowth. I had to have the oral surgery um, twice. Uh, so that 
was very hard and then going from all of that um, healing to this um, was very very hard actually <laughs> believe it or not I know that sounds weird it's like oh wow super exciting very painful very painful very long and um, I'm not sure yet but I, I think <laughs> this sounds stupid but um, I'm not sure if I'm allergic to the fixident, so I know we're trying to still trying to figure that one out too because I am allergic to everything. <laughs> I mean, literally, guys, everything. So, um, I know I sound weird, and that is why. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm semi okay with that, I don't know. And yes, I got, I got the Southern style, the buttery one, so that's why you see the little specks in there, because it, it's the butter. <laughs> why not, you guys? We are making some decadence little minis. Why not make it all decadence? I grabbed two spoons. <laughs> okay, we are going to spill our filling in here. Now, like I said, I added uh, some pepper and some um chips to mine just because i mean i think alfredo, in my opinion um alfredo should always have pepper uh the cheese i added is the uh fiesta blend from walmart that's the only one i had in the fridge otherwise i would have completely added the timeless parmesan that alfredo is classically supposed to have so I apologize. I did not have any Parmesan on hand. Um, the bacon that I used was a thick cut um, apple wood. You guys, like I said, you guys can do whatever your little hearts desire. Um, I'm pretty sure you could um, add mushrooms. You could add onions. You could use whatever you like in here. I'm pretty sure you could probably add shrimp instead of chicken if you wanted to or shrimp and chicken you know that's the, the beauty about these guys and since these are such small um recipes you know they only do eight uh double triple them it's all up to you you know what you want to do so that's the beauty and i am i have to tell you guys i am loving doing these with carrie <laughs> The, the idea popped in because I, I was going to do them, um, you know, anyways, because I love uh, doing recipe review. Obviously, you guys know my channel, it's a recipe review channel. Um, but when Carrie and I did the first one and I had the, the idea about it, um, there was obviously no one I'd rather uh, do them with than her. I mean, I just absolutely love her and I found Carrie from uh, Kristen sauce queen and that's how I came to find uh, Carrie and you know if, if sauce queen suggests someone you know they're they're bound to be freaking amazing so um, yeah that's how I found Carrie and um, it has just been Incredible ever since you guys know why, why am I telling you you guys already freaking know Carrie Duh. So I I have these suckers filled like to the brim as you guys can see and I have a ton Of filling left now don't get me wrong. I mean this is not gonna go to waste by any means uh, put this over pasta for my husband and you know Bob's your uncle and there you be I don't know why I keep saying that, but, that, but I'll show you guys, but look, those are like super full because I still have to bring these ends up and close them, which I don't even know how I'm going to maneuver that freaking stunt. So I'm going to try and do that and see what we come up with. <laughs> okay. So the whole, um, like sealing them together, um, and pinching them. Yeah, not so much. But I don't know that you can really do that. And I'll show you why. Because 
if this truly makes enough for what it calls for and it tells you to put a third of a cup in each, no. Because this is how much I have left. I mean, that's a lot left over. And they're not even filled. So, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but, they look cute. They look great. And I'm setting it on a cookie sheet underneath, just in case anything spills over. I don't have to clean my goddamn oven. <laughs> okay, so, and the oven says 15 to 17, so I'm setting my timer for 16. And then, we shall return. Okay guys, so here's what they look like when they came out of the oven. Uh, they're perfectly cooked, but here's the thing. With me, I'm kind of a bit of a perfectionist. And also what I tell you guys on this channel is I like to give you little helpful tips and tricks. Um, if something doesn't really come out uh, the way that it does. So that's what I'm kind of working on over here. So let me uh, bring you in here and uh, show you exactly what I'm kind of working on. There we go. Okay, so what I started off with, um, I ended up boiling uh, three boneless skinless chicken breasts and chicken broth, and that's what I finally cubed. Um, I know the recipe only called for two cups, but uh, I can always keep it in my fridge for something else. It didn't matter to me. And I also cooked a whole pack of bacon. Because again, I can always use that for something else. But um, with having the extra, just alone from the Alfredo, um, you saw how much I had left over. So I added the remainder of the chicken and the bacon to the rest that I already had, remixed it with the cheese and everything in there. And in my fridge, I also had a extra biscuit container. Um, this wasn't the same biscuit that the recipe called for. Um, this one was uh, a jumbo biscuit, buttermilk. Um, still biscuits, but um, going with the theme here. Now, I think I kind of cracked this one, guys. So, when it said five inches, I, I wasn't crazy about that. So, what I've been doing is, and I wanted to walk you through what I came to find out that worked wonderful and I'll show you exactly what I'm on my last one so I'll show you what the rest of the other seven looked like so as you can see like I said the inner one is six inches in diameter so I'm pressing it out to pretty much six inches instead of the five and it's pretty thin um, so I'm going out to the six and I wanted to do that to give me more of the biscuit area to come up and around the filling. So I've got it to pretty much, as you can see, six inches. So I'll grab that, I'll put it in my muffin tin and I'll bring the muffin tin over so you can see this one. And I'm pressing it down just like I did with the other one. And obviously, being that it's bigger, it gives me more surface area um, to do so. And I'll grab my spoons and the same thing that I was doing with the other one with the filling um, putting it in there and I'm grabbing two spoons and I'm putting in the hefty amount uh, the same amount that I did in the other one so putting it in there just like I did and the spoon um, technique worked very well um, so now as you can tell I have a ton to pick up and wrap so, um, and I'm just pushing it down as I'm wrapping and pulling, um, as I'm going around, you can see better when I do it from that. So I'm holding here and I'm pulling over here and just pressing as I go around, holding the filling in and pressing, picking up here and pressing. Now at the very end, you can pinch here and pull and press. And then when you're done, just give it a good press as you go around. So, um, as you can see, these eight turned out perfectly. 
So that's what I suggest um, when you guys do this. Hopefully you guys try it because these ones are not perfect. So um, use the six inches instead of the five because that worked better and make it flatter, thinner, and then it'll come up and around. So I'm gonna bake these ones um, and the um, not says 15 to 17, I did the 16, worked perfect. Now, I mean, these ones are fine. I mean, you know, <laughs> they're gonna get eaten by my husband either way. And the buttery one, look at the pockets of butter on those biscuits. That's the yellow you see, is the butter in that biscuit. <laughs> Hails to the yeah. So I'm gonna bake these ones off so we can compare and see what they both look like. Okay guys, I have second batch out. So we have first batch in the back versus second batch. Look at those. And I have both of them right here. So I did cut them and I'm going to open them while you guys look because I haven't seen the inside yet. So here is second batch that looks phenomenal, which is what they should look like. So I'm gonna suggest you guys do how I did it the second time. So we're gonna open her up. And then we're gonna open up the second one. Oh, we got a lot more Uzi going on there. Check that out. Wow. Let me bring her up to you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? If I could tell you guys how incredible it smells. I mean, it smells like, um, like fettuccine Alfredo with bacon, obviously. I mean, it smells like heaven in here. And then I think because I used the butter in these biscuits in the first one, I think that's adding another extra buttery aroma in here, but it smells phenomenal. So thank you guys for coming and watching another episode of our little collab with Hillsbury. I hope you guys really enjoy these because we are having so much fun. And these are incredible. Let me tell you another thing with these ones. The amount of ingredients that you need to make these are just amazing. And for most people, these are things that you're already gonna have. So, especially now, perfect. So thank you guys for all your love and support and for tuning in. And thank you, Carrie, for another virtual collab. I am loving these with you, sweetheart. Thank you so, so much. And from my kitchen to yours, you guys, Mwah.